Hey guys, want to hear a bad joke? What happened to the illegally parked frog? He got towed away. You can laugh now. I didn't make that up, by the way. Just feel like I should put that out there. Welcome back to Cave Colonization episode 55. And in today's episode, we are definitely going to be building something. Okay, so like I said in the last episode, we are gonna be building something here. Also, I seem to have misplaced my red choker box. I think I had a full inventory and broke it and then after emptying my inventory did not pick it back up so it despawned which is unfortunate but i mean it didn't actually have that much good stuff in it just some wood anyway i put the path in i don't know if i showed that off last time but i did fix like this line under here and i did fix the path a little bit and i put some grass in and funnily enough this is actually like a forest biome the minecraft forest i was concerned when i noticed that because i thought oh we've moved out of the jungle and that's you know i chose the jungle for a reason so everything would be green but it's it's just this area it's a tiny ass patch of forest so it's fine and on over here i think is jungle um no it is still forest interesting now it's sparse jungle well whatever yeah let's start building i do i did unfortunately lose my spare wood that was kind of what was in the shulker box anyway just it was a stone cutter why is this one block back Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. This should be one block farther back. Yeah, it was just some wood, like a stack of dark oak, stack of birch, and a stack of spruce, and then a stack of lanterns, which does suck that I lost those. It's not like all that good stuff. Thankfully, I didn't have my pickaxe in there. Icebreaker, or else we'd be on the Icebreaker version 3. This building is kind of something I wanted to build for a while. I hope it's the right dimensions. I did kind of screw it up and change it a lot when I was building in the creative world, but you know what? We should be fine. It is a little bit of an interesting build, especially with like the blocks I chose. I did not choose, I think, very good blocks for this. And boom, there's our building. And we can put this wood frame in. This this whole building is a little bit strange. The roof doesn't look that great on it, I think. Do I want to do the roof now? I might as well, because I do need it to like put the second floor in. There's a second floor to this, although there's not a lot of room. And it's going to be a little bit awkward with back here. All right, you know what? I'm going to just build the roof really quickly, and I'll see you when it's done. All right, the roof is done, and I also put in the ceiling and mine out the floor. All right, so we have another checkerboard. Checkerboard checkerboard i oh, know i just said that three times we have another checkerboard floor because you know we love checkerboard floors here and while i do this i should probably explain what this is going to be as i hideously fill in this which is i'm sure some people are not going to be pleased with this choice of block but this is supposed to be like a diner and wow math actually worked for this i didn't like count these out i took the width of the building and the length and then divided it by two for quartz in this. And you see I still have extra quartz, but that's fine because I need it for elsewhere. But the math worked, and that's amazing. Yeah, this is meant to be a diner. There's not really much more to that thought, but it has like the old, I don't know, 50s style like floor, but it's wooden and not, I don't know what they made those things out of. It looks plastic. So let's put in the windows. Looks like we have a pink one here, and then two pink here, then white, two white. Wow windows once again i have come up with another glorious kitchen design so let's build that bad boy real quick of cobblestone there cobblestone there put a smoker here and this is going to be our oven that bad boy also gets a flower pot on top okay i just sorted out some stuff so now we have some inventory room so we have a little counter thingy that goes like this with a fence gate so this is like the kitchen area it's a very large and intimidating kitchen then on this counter we have an item frame with some bread in it there's not really much i could like fit here there is a painting that this is our glorious kitchen right we have a corner bush which is not in a corner it was kind of hard to put corner bushes in here but i did need to because this is cave colonization and there cannot be a cave colonization episode with no corner bushes in it's just it's just not something that can happen All right so here's like the bar area i guess that's kind of what this is so it has one table for like barrels and then it has i appear to have not brought a birch slab that i needed so i need to craft one that's kind of annoying i just heard a zombie where are zombies here right there apparently hello yeah. 
Okay, right, just so I don't get jump scared by more mobs, I'm gonna put the, the door in down here. Just so like a creeper doesn't waltz in and try to order and then blow everything up because that's just what they do. Right, so birch slab, another fence gate. This is another employee area, so we can't have nons just walking around back here. And then there's a table. Well, there's chairs here and here. And then two scaffolding to be tables. I thought I just heard the music start and I was like, I always play with music off when recording. Why would there be music? Dude, another zombie? Where are they coming from? I've not had to deal with this before. Is there like something up there? No. I also hear a skeleton. Oh, hello. They must be dropping down from somewhere because they are one shots, but where I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing somewhere's up there. All right, whatever. Let's just keep building. Who cares? So on the bar, there's going to be more flower pots and... I have an arrow in my arm now. Never mind, it, it just, it's just, it's just gone. I believe, actually, that's everything oh, on the bottom floor. I'm gonna put my armor on because I do have to go outside. So this is the bottom floor. So now we have to do the top floor. And I know what you're thinking, top floor. There's, you know, not much to it. And honestly, that is a correct way of thinking. I'm gonna move away from the building. So while I'm looking at my screenshots, if a creeper does welcome himself to me with open arms and open body when he blows up, the building won't get damaged. There's gotta be some kind of ridge up there. Yeah, definitely. I didn't know that existed. Maybe we can explore that at the end of the episode. But for now, we're gonna do some staircase building. And this is the second floor. Isn't it great? And yes, that actually is, that actually is the build. It, it actually does this. But those look a little bit cleaner. Let's go inside. So I used the sea lanterns up here to also be a light source. So I didn't like need any lanterns or anything. What the hell, where'd my dark oak would go? I swear, I would have to do a lot less editing if I was slightly more organized about where I put stuff, but I'm not, so I do have to do lots of editing. The far end over here, we have a bed. Okay, it doesn't go there, it goes there. Also, I should put in these trap doors to cover up the sea lanterns, because that's where they go. We have gray carpet here. We have another scaffold. Yeah, I like scaffolds as, like, tables, but you can just kind of walk into them and climb up. So just don't walk into them, I guess, would be the solution to that. And we get a corner bush. Okay, I believe I put this too... Why are you floating? I believe I put this too close. It goes here. Yeah, so here's our simple upstairs area. There's a lot of natural light, by which I mean none. And this looks like a horrible place to live, but it is a place to live, I suppose. All right, if a creeper comes and blows this up, I'm gonna be upset. So let's finish the staircase. Okay, so we have a fence here, two fences here, two fences here, three fences Oh my god, what the hell was that? I think that was tape peeling off of my headset. I just recorded another video, and in it, I said that my headset was falling apart. My recording headset, which is the one I'm using right now. And I think a little bit of tape just moved on it, and it genuinely just freaked me the heck out. I'm pretty jumpy, actually. I'm not sure why. That's why I'll never do any, like, horror mods or stuff. So if you wanted to see me, like, scream, then... First of all, I, I can't even scream. I don't have I don't have the vocal range for that. So, yeah. But we do have a dark oak fence that goes here. Pretty sure I just said fence gate, so I'm entirely wrong. Also, I do need to mine out all of this. And there's a little bit of, like, a back area here made out of cobblestone and, like, gravel. And so let's build that. And then inside of this little back area, there's a lantern here. Welcome back to another episode of of DB Productions versus Discord screenshots. A battle that really shouldn't exist, but does anyway. Okay, yeah, here's the back area. They just have some spare barrels and a spare table. And yeah, what a great, what a great, fantastic place. And while I'm here, I can finish off the chimney. If I could place blocks correctly, that is. Which apparently is not a thing that I can do. All right, so this requires going onto the roof, which really shouldn't be hard to get to. There we go. That was easy. Okay, wow, there's not a lot of vento. What the heck? It's... How did I just walk over that gap and then just immediately fall by? What is this? I know what this is. And it's a giant loop. I didn't anticipate the lack of room here. Actually, I did. But that is not the focus of the episode right now. The focus is putting on this chimney. And I have done lots of these chimneys, and I was thinking about that. Why do I do so many of these chimneys? And the answer is that I like, I like the smoke because it makes it seem like there's life around. This presence of smoke implies that somebody lives in the house, and it just makes the whole place seem more, like, lively, and not just a bunch of buildings in a cave where I am the sole person living in the world. What was I doing? So we'll do some exterior decoration. I hear another zombie, I think. This is the most mobs I've had to deal with in episode since like 
probably, honestly, this floor exploration. I don't even know what episode that was. Was that 41? All right, I'm just, I'm just putting in the exterior decoration. You know how it is. It's what we do here. It's not really anything special. I never really have anything to talk about during exterior decoration putting ins because, wow, that was an epic stack up attempt. All right, yeah, that's, that's it. Now we can exit here and go to the back there's a pair of lanterns that go here i did decide actually i think there's a trap door that goes like that let me just check it's really annoying to have to go through all the screenshots yes there is and actually this table doesn't go there there's two fences here so i have screwed this up a little bit now where does a table go okay the table looks like it just goes here all right i can walk through that block that's cool and then it looks like i brought one too many barrels or something or that or i didn't place one where one should be this episode went from i'm moving really quickly and not gonna have to edit that much oh right you know i didn't need the birch slabs because underneath here is a barrel also, I love how the item frame didn't break. I wonder if it'll realize and pop later, but that's where the barrel goes, because there wasn't originally one. Oops. That was pretty epic, I think. So I know up here, there's one of these dark oak slabs, and that's this is so I can just walk up here and in here, and it doesn't look like that bad. Okay, I think I've sorted out like everything. What I still need to do is decoration in the back right here. Now, I can't do all of it because there's a wall here, although actually I think maybe I could just dig this out and I could maybe do all of it. And I can make that look a little bit better later. It's really simple. It's kind of just, you know, fences and then bushes and stuff. So we have six leaves, six leaves. I just said six while putting down three. A mangrove roots to represent a leaf that has wilted because it's in close proximity to the chimney. That's probably not like what actually happens, but hey, funny detail. Oh, it goes right here. Yeah, I'm only meant to have six, All right? I think that's the exterior of this decorate. This, yeah, that's the exterior of this decoration done entirely. Good job, English speaker. So the last thing that I need to do is this sign. Okay, well, two signs, actually. I'll do this little one first. I mean, the big one, obviously. So diners just have, like, signs that go like this and say, like, D-I-N-E-R. Now, in Minecraft, that's going to be a little bit difficult to do. So I decided to do the next best thing. I think this is the proper height. Three across, one down. I actually managed to clutch. Let's go. So I couldn't spell out diner on the sign without it being like way too freaking big. So I need like block clutch here. Oh my gosh, that uh, that went so much better than I was expecting. So this sign is currently only single sided, but I think I might fix that in the future. I, I did my best filling this in. So we have E and then we do an A. So obviously the next letter is going to be S for sports because, you know, EA sports. But no, it's just a T making our glorious diner sign say simply eat. I know, right? It's it's creative. That's also the name of this building, by the way. It's just straight up called Eat. They have a very... Their business model is very forceful, I guess. That's a way to say it. I also do have two extra lanterns. Oops. I don't know where they go, so... Yeah, here's, here's the sign. Can't really see it due to this giant granite wall, but once I mine it out a little bit more... And yeah, it is only one side. Did I mean, the T and A are not, but the E looks a little bit... You know, now it's three at so i think i'm gonna put like a middle section oh my god that freaking jeez <laughs> what? dude why am i so like on the edge this episode that genuinely scared me so much bat why why would you do that jeez i'm gonna put like a middle bit that's only gonna be like three wide and then like trap doors up the side and then mirror the sign so it is proper. All right, this episode has been very disjointed. The last thing to do is put down the sign. It just is a bunch of those. Then it just says E in all caps. Established 1736, I believe. Oh, it's 1735 even. And then a bunch more of these. And then we pink and glow so you can actually see it. And that's our diner done. I'm, I'm gonna keep my armor on just in case the Enderman ever does actually find his way back down here. But that is going to be the end of this episode here. So between this episode and the next, I'm going to find a spot to build. And this episode might end up being a bit of a long one or for what I have planned. It might not even be the next episode. I've been talking for way too long. So thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. And all right, I did forget, but we're exploring this little location up here where the mobs were coming. It's just this little cave. And when I say little, it probably spans a very, oh hi.
Well, okay, they're gonna kill each other now. Yeah, it is, okay, it's a little bit of a big area. So am I gonna do anything with this? Definitely not. I'm just curious if it does, it can't just go a very long way up there. I'm curious if it does actually connect to my other other parts of the cave. Hello, and he's gone, brilliant. So yeah, that is where all the mobs were coming from. All right, yeah, that's that extra bit. So goodbye for real now.